Hello guys, welcome to a brand new video by the DOI Props. I am terribly sorry, I have not been uploading in a while, and as you'll see in the disclaimer, this video is very old, and that is why it is not in HD. Now, let's get started. By the title, obviously you can see, we will be building a time bomb prop. So, what you will need to start off are actually eight of these toilet paper roll insides i would call them because actually those two stacked on top of each other as you will see in the video will form a stick of dynamite that will be glued together now as well as that you can use one of these which is basically just a simple digital clock i got it from some kind of a set i'm not even sure when as i said this was two years ago so you can use this clock as your timer but you do not have to. This is an optional accessory, but I think the whole thing looks a lot cooler with it. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so in addition to the timer, you will also need some of this red cardboard and a hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks. Okay, in addition to that, you will need some dollar store sponges. These were basically 50 cents each, I believe, and they're really handy and are going to come in handy with this project, as well as some toilet paper. So, we're going to now move on to the gluing portion of this video. You will take some of these tubes that, you will, that I will show you how to make right now, and you will stick them together a bit later. So... So we're going to take that red cardboard and cut a piece out that will fit two of these um, basically vertically with some give on the sides and you're going to slowly hot glue them in position as you roll them up into a tube. Just make sure that you leave about an inch off each end. Now once you roll, roll them up, wait for just a bit for it to dry off and then you're going to start gluing these together. Now we're going to do this with hot glue, and you want to make sure to hold these together. Now I used some kind of a clip here to hold them together, and it wasn't really working for me, so I just dumped it off to the side. But just put hot glue in between them, and you should be good. Now let's just stick the third one up. And I put the clippers on again, but they're really not that necessary. Just wait for it to dry off a bit after you're done with that, and... That's basically the base of your time bomb, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so in the end you'll see that I ended up going with four tubes and stuck the clock in the middle using some hot glue. Now we'll worry about the wires a bit later. So now that you've got the whole thing ready and prepared, you're going to want to cut out these small circles out of the sponge that you bought at your dollar store in order to fit them down the tube and that is the reason that you put about half of, to, half of an inch to an inch of give on each side when rolling up the toilet paper insides into those big red tubes. Now you want to cut out basically all of the sponge for all, to fill out all four, all eight I guess of these cylinders on both sides. Now the sponge is very important because that is what you'll be connecting the wires in the next step too. Now in addition to that you might want to stick some of that toilet paper down each of these holes to give them some rigidity because if you were to toss this around a bit or squeeze it I'm not sure how that would go so just stick some toilet paper possibly to the insides of the of each of these tubes and here you can see how that looks like. Okay, so in this next step, we will be taking a look at the wiring. Okay, so now we're going to be tackling the wiring. I just took some regular black and, oh, I'm sorry, white and blue wires, and we're going to be connecting them up from below the clock using some hot glue, basically, to the middle of those yellow sponges. That is why they were so important. So you'll see me stripping the wires for some reason, but you don't need to do that. You just need to basically, as you see, stick them in the middle and secure them with some hot glue. Now, this is how it should look in the end. You should have one wire running from each of the middles, basically the tubes, to the clock. Now, I just put some red paper over the bottom of it because there were some imperfections, but obviously if you took a bit more time with it, you could have made it look perfect, but 
I just put some red paper across the end and this is what the finished product looks like. Now please pardon me for this very very bad image. This is just a snapshot I took of the video. Again this was two years ago. I do not have this prop anymore. So this is about how it's supposed to look like. As you can see I put two four wires on top and did it to two wires coming from the clock on the bottom but you feel free to customize your wires however you want to for a you know good or nice effect so i hope you enjoyed this video again i apologize for the subpar quality uh, and hopefully you will be seeing me upload more videos in the future okay hope you enjoyed and goodbye